Okay guys, hey, we are in Home Depot, me and my daughter, and we're looking for spray paint for this event that we're going to be doing. Um, the client wants pink palm trees, so we have to find a pink spray paint. Rustling. Paint and primer, so I'm thinking we're going to go with that. And I think that's all. Huh. See all the fridges. We're going to be here soon getting fridges. Manifesting that. Um, I think this should do because it's a two-in-one. You want to hold it? Sure. I'll hold two. You want to hold two? All of them? All everything? You're such. You're the best helper. So we do things like this. And like that over there. Yes, he is good. So, yeah. <clears throat> we have an event coming up. You want to see the fridges? Okay. We'll stop it. Ooh, it's island. Come here. I love it. I want to see a kitchen. Here's a kitchen you can look at. You like it? <laughs> this oh, is why I love sink. going to the store with her. Mom, it's an adventure. I love this thing. Good afternoon, guys. I'm about to cook myself some HelloFresh because I honestly don't feel like coming up with anything to eat. I'm coming down with a sinus cold, and that's not cute. And I'm going to make anything. I'm going to make something I don't really have to think about. You know, I'm just going to have to read it. So that's what I'm about to do. Um, this is not sponsored, by the way. I spend my coins, okay? And my husband's coins on HelloFresh, okay? This ain't sponsored, so I ain't getting no money off of this. But it's cheaper, um, less food waste, and it all tastes good. So why not, you know? Um, I can say I've had about like three, four boxes now. This would be the four, fifth? Fourth, fourth or fifth? Um... And I can say it is cheaper than if I were to go out and think of a home meal, get all the ingredients, not use all the ingredients, and then have it wasted in the fridge in a recipe rut. Like, I get to this repetitive state where I keep making the same thing, and I don't like that. So, when I can't think of anything, I'll just sign into my little HelloFresh app, say unskip or skip, you know, whatever, and yeah for the week and I only do like three days because really those three days can be four 
to five days depending on what's left over because i do get the four person meal of course they do have um kid friendly meals easy meals lunch meals quick meals you know stuff like that i say it reminds me of a cafeteria because it's never really all the same sometimes you get those um repeating recipes that you know you might like you be like oh i'm gonna get that again but other than that sometimes it's just random and if you like it, you like it. You don't, you don't. I'm not even gonna lie. They're very tempting for like the specialty other meals. I'm tempted to try that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm tempted. Good things though. Good things Hello Fresh. I'm not gonna go any more in depth because I ain't getting paid for this. So, <laughs> sponsor me. Oh my god it's so freaking hot so guys this is um pretty much real time that i'm talking to you guys um i know i took a little hiatus from before my last video if you haven't seen it it was like a month or two between my last two videos and that's just because i was really trying to ground myself i was still doing pre-recorded vlogs for you guys so that's the last vlog seen um if you're even caring to you know um but um last clip um before this i believe it was me at the dentist and the dentist chair and i kid you not within that week span of my recovery it wasn't really me recovering from anything but all the bs that i'm about to spill to you guys so here's the tape here's the tape just spilling it let's start off with the dentist shall we okay so like i was supposed to get an, a one tooth extracted okay my teeth are jacked up we know this i've told you guys this if you're actually keeping up with me or whatever i've made it known okay i don't like my teeth and we're gonna do something about it so I have been doing something about it, dedicated this year to that. And I've had two extractions before my recent two extractions. Yes, you heard me right. I went there for one extraction, came home with both of them out. Because they were like, we're just going to do a one and done. These are the last two that I need to get out. Oh my God, when I tell you the medicine had me slumped, like pain but i mean i say that to say uh, i felt like a drugged animal but the pain is nowhere near like the soreness of the pain from the pain you know of the tooth getting taken out is nowhere near compared to the pain that the tooth was putting me in for a good three years yeah i was I was really suffering and silence for that one because um, I had a lot to do. You know, as a mother, you put things before you always, which is and not a good trait to have at the same time because, you know, you got to invest in yourself before you invest in anybody else. You got to pour into your own glass before you can share all, with all these other classes, you know. But sometimes as a mother, as a parent as someone with responsibilities you put those things before your needs and man did i <laughs> man did i basically long story short i um got those bottom and top extracted felt like a drugged animal for like a good solid four to five days and um the medicine gave me terrible reaction like not i'm not gonna say it was terrible because there's way worse that could have happened on that 
list of side effects but man I was itchy I felt like a crackhead a little bit I was itchy I was nauseous I was angry I was a little depressed like it was it was a lot it was a lot and a lot of things happened I'm surprised I haven't lost any more people you know what I'm saying but we have a long way still to go with my teeth I'm I'm hoping for veneers like fix them all doc fix fix them all okay if you are a person that does not like their teeth for whatever reason that's your reason and it's a good reason no matter what it is it's a good reason it's okay you know you're not alone I have not the best of smiles um, I have a nice I feel like I have a nice smile I have bad teeth okay oh uh, excuse my bustedness just excuse my bustedness I've, I've, I've been through some crap okay okay yeah but yeah if you're if you're not happy with your teeth you're not alone honey I'm trying to get all my teeth my, all, my, all my teeth about to be fake I don't care but near me up veneer me up <laughs> veneer me up because I don't want them no more I, d I mean I do because I need to eat and I like a, a nice smile I'm obsessed with smiles and I have a bad smile so <laughs> fix it so we're gonna manifest I'm still feeling a little drowsy today was my last day I took I took my last pill for you know what they prescribed me I am not there guys i just i wanted to talk to you guys and update you guys i've been itching and craving to do more content and just to connect and to just form like a good community of people who uplift each other no judgment i i am the last person to judge okay so just want a community like that so i don't know i've been itching to make more content so here I am showing up, not my best day, but I'm showing up. So let's manifest some good things happening, like my teeth, veneers, manifest a good community. I don't know why I'm out of breath. <sighs> okay. But, um, oh, I don't know if I updated you guys. I got some curtains. That's a little update. Got some curtains. no one told me curtains are like a hundred dollars <laughs> I'm over exaggerating but my wall right now probably costs like was, 65 bucks and why don't they come in a set of two who buys one curtain for $15 who buys one curtain me me since when since when anyway um i'm so tired <laughs> um oh another update the reason why i have every fan going in my home and one in the hallway one down the stairs my ac decided to crap out in the middle of Texas in a hundred degree weather my AC stopped working in a hundred degree weather it's hot as hell maintenance people are coming hopefully they can do something about it this is the second time because the first time it was a leak I don't know what's going on now it's just hot that's all I know fix it sir Fix the problem, sir. Woke up in the middle of the night to my living room and my daughter's room being flooded. Short story long, 2 a.m., almost 2 a.m. in the morning, like 1.40, something wakes me up out of my sleep. And I'm talking about, I just got into that sleep stage where you're like, chilling you know you're about to get a good sleep in you know and then something in you or something in your dreams like wake up something ain't right wake up <laughs> yeah 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 um 
something woke me up told me to go check on my daughter i did her faucet was running how good question i don't know i can only assume she went to the bathroom in the middle of the night because she does and washed her hands and forgot to turn off the faucet why the faucet didn't drain i do not know and went down the structural beam through the ceiling flooded my living room now i should have caught you know you you would think you would be prepared enough to record the aftermath but no i wasn't i wasn't ready i was so in shock of what i was seeing i thought i was dreaming no i didn't even record it i recorded kind of the aftermath but literally i have a floaty i'll show you i have a i have a floaty for summertime because we go to the pool that mother was in its island it was in the water in the living room i wish i would have recorded it <laughs> i can't make this up i have a step down from the front door and that step downs into the living room and then the other side is the dining room. If I didn't have that step down, the water would have been to the front door. For sure. I had a lake in my living room. And the dogs were on their own little island dry. God, thank God my TV was dry too. It was just like the center. So yeah, short story long, I uh, finished cleaning that up around four o'clock in the morning drugged out on my hydrocodone <laughs> bro you can't make this stuff up and this is why I'm like do I want another child like I made the selfish decision to have a child and now I'm having selfless lessons from God and everybody thanks thanks but do I want to do it again? I didn't know that you can get mad at kids to the point where you want to fight. <laughs> like, you can want to fight a kid, man. Kids are assholes. A little bit, but no, not, not, not with this. You know, I, I gotta remind myself it comes with all of this and no, it wasn't her fault because she was only like four. I could understand if she was like 10. 10, about like 10 or uh, 10 or, Nine or ten is when my brother flooded <laughs> our bathroom at, at my mom's house. It was, yeah, my mom was pissed. Um, but she's only four. I can't really be upset because, I mean, it's not like she's done it before, you know. It's, this is all new territory. I just had to sit her down. She was grounded because she we do tell her not to play in the water at all you know because she does she plays with her bubbles and brings her boat from her tub into her sink and just plays in the water so we did semi ground her um it was just basically clean your room you don't get your tablet yet she had a tablet at the end of the day but like for the majority of the day it was just learning the lesson of to always turn off your water now I know some of the more gentle parents out there are going to be like, well, I would have done. I don't care. Okay, you lucky I didn't whoop a butt. I got to remember, she's too young. The butt whooping ain't going to do nothing. I don't even like butt whoopings. You know how often I pop my child? I don't even. Damn, what's the left one? I don't think I've popped my child in a bowl. And the the. I have popped her. I'm not going to sit here and lie because I have popped her. Like her hand. But that's been like... Maybe when she was three. That's the only time. Because one, two, and now four. She kind of knows now, you know. I've only popped her over like repetitive things. Um, or hitting. We don't do that. And she already knows that. Or spitting. We don't do that. Um, so, so, you know, it's like things she knows, you know, it's not like something that's new and I'm gonna just whoop her butt for it. No, 
I don't like whoopings. It takes too much energy. It doesn't solve anything. You hurting? I'm tired. Like, oh. I don't know how my mother did it. At a certain point in time, she didn't do it. So, I can't. I just saying I, I ain't got it in me. Cause I know grounding and sending you to your room with nothing hurts you more than a temporary ass whooping, borderline abuse. But you know, you grow from that. I'm a better person, and I just have to instill better judgment on my parenting and I have so all you gentle parents out there who are going to tell me that wasn't gentle enough I do not care because for my standards would have turned out different for me yeah so I'm tired I think I think I think that medicine's dehydrating me I'm so glad that I'm, this was my last one I'm tired though, it's making me drowsy, so I'm probably gonna take a nap. I definitely need to redo my twists because these puppies are overgrown. And I'm not gonna take them out, I'm just going to, I am gonna take them out, but I'm gonna retwist them in. I might do a video on it. I don't know, we'll see how I'm feeling. But um, I do need to re retwist them, it's time. But when will I do that? I don't know. I, right now, I'm standing in front of a basket of clothes. I'm, and I'm still gonna take a nap. <laughs> Hopefully after I'm more healed, I have a, what do you call it? Like a, a, a checkup, like a, they're gonna check if everything's healed up good. So after that, I think I'll feel more like myself to actually do sit down videos because that's what I want to do. I want to sit down and do more makeup videos, get ready with me videos, chit chat videos. I like talking. I can talk my ass off. Um, and I also want to do try on hauls. So I'm, I'm, de I'm definitely needing to feel 100%, especially for try on hauls because these pills take a lot out of you these medications help me heal take a lot out of me so hopefully next week I'll be feeling a little better to do that and because I'm so ready for more content <laughs> for real oh my god are y'all the type of people that needs to sleep with a blanket no matter if it's hot or cold I'm like I want this blanket but it's so hot I don't need a blanket but you can find me here in bed without a headboard still but that's okay one thing at a time oh that medicine is kicking in <laughs> One little step. Is that chicken little? One little step. Is that chicken little? Mm. Mm. I hope you all can see me pretty well and that I'm not crooked. Mm. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my dirty kitchen. Um, I decided to just end the vlog on, I know this video has been me really just talking and being a vlog itself. That's why I kind of do my vlogs once or twice a month because, um, I'm boring. Yeah. <laughs> a lot has happened. I didn't vlog too much because I, I wind up not vlogging too much because I got my tooth extracted well i was only supposed to get one got both of them extracted if i haven't already discussed this can't really remember them the medication that they gave me was delusional and angry and all these other side effects and itchy so itchy um but now that's over with i have a checkup tomorrow actually um to see how it's healing and all that because they were one was my molar and one's like my side tooth 
Um, definitely getting veneers because I don't like that I'm missing teeth and I don't like these two in the front. If you're wondering, they pulled out like six teeth out of my mouth when I was younger because I had too many. I had three pairs of teeth instead of two pairs of teeth. It's a whole, it's a whole mess up in there. But veneers for sure, that's what's happening tomorrow. Um, well, no, not tomorrow, but soon. Oh, in the future, manifesting. It ain't nothing like eating a burger and just filling up, <laughs> filling up both cheeks. I've been fantasizing, okay? I have been sticking to soft foods and all that, but I have been kind of inching my way into regular food because I'm hungry. Who wants to eat soup all the time? Not me. But right now, I'm about to begin dinner. I am making meatloaf, so I'm going to end on this note. Thanks for coming along and watching this vlog i hope it was entertaining it probably wasn't entertaining like i said i don't have that much stuff going on in my life hence why i don't vlog all the time why is it shaking? come on man i didn't wind up doing my hair it's getting worse by the days my my bangs are almost all the way out um <laughs> but you know what it's okay it's okay, I haven't been feeling my best. Next week's gonna be better. Um, I am going to do something with this head. I thought I was gonna do a video on it. I don't know, we'll see. If I do, you'll know, okay? It'll be up there. Um, but yeah, about to make dinner. I wanna thank you guys for sticking around and hanging out with me in this vlog. Hopefully better things are to come in the next vlogs and less destruction of things in general. Yeah. So. You gonna stop shaking? You gonna stop shaking? Cool. Alright, cool. This morning we had um, chorizo, potatoes, and eggs. Tacos. I honestly was putting, just putting out all my vlogs just to be posting them because I did do all that time of recording and editing all of that so I was just like let me just put them out even though they you know I'm just keeping y'all on the time frame or whatever so now we're in real time and so now the vlogs won't be as you know current reoccurring I mean um and yeah when the vlogs will be out I guess the vlogs will be out I'm trying to be more diverse with my content which i already am which is probably why i ain't got enough followers yet but when it happened it will happen i'm not rushing anything this is basically like take time with what you're doing enjoy the the calm before the storm i'm gonna go and cook uh, i want to thank you guys again one more time for clicking on the video and um i'll see you in the next one yeah whatever video that will be please leave your suggestions down in the comments down below don't forget to like subscribe so you don't miss any more videos like this or the new ones i have coming up i saw somebody doing vlogtober and i thought man that's way better than vlogween so i'm gonna be doing vlogtober this year Ooh, I hope I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready.